Sexual pleasure is only one part of what men and women want from each other. They want intimacy, they want closeness, they want understanding, they want comfort, they want fun, and they want somebody who really cares about them beyond going to bed with them. And I think people are always seeking that in every generation. My name is Shirley Zussman. I just reached 100 years of age and I am a practicing sex therapist. I was invited with my husband to a lecture in New Jersey in 1966. Masters and Johnson were the speakers. Nobody knew about them. Human Sexual Response had just been published. What I saw was a couple who were saying that people had problems in an area of their lives that was very important and they were recognizing that it was all not just glamorous and wonderful to be sexual. One had to almost learn how to be a good partner and to enjoy the pleasure not only for yourself but for each other. And I thought, we can do that. Why can't we do that? And we applied for training with Masters and Johnson at that time. The patients that came to us were people who read the paper. And that was the only way they knew anything about the work that was being done there. And the problems they came with were somewhat different than the problems they come with today. Mostly women came because they were not orgasmic. They didn't know how to achieve an orgasm, but they wanted one. It was sort of that goal they had for themselves, and how do I get there? That was one of Masters and Johnson's contribution, that there was a relatively simple way to start learning about your body. In other words, get, get to know who you are sexually and physically. And that was a, an encouragement for masturbation, for learning what makes you feel good. I see a big change in the, uh, the way you view casual sex. In the 60s, I think it was not just casual, it was frantic. I'm shocked at the lack of connection with people because of iPhones, even though I love my iPhone. There is so much less actual physical connection. There's less touching, there's less talking, there's less holding, there's less looking. I mean, people get pleasure from looking at each other. But the most common problem, I would say, in the sex therapy world that I live in, is a lack of desire. You have to look at your priorities. You have to decide what is important to make you feel good about yourself and your life and to help make your partner feel good, to establish something that is gratifying, that really fills a need that we all have to be close to somebody.